recording. Okay? Welcome to tonight's class with Yoga with Dora. And tonight's theme is anti-anxiety. Just to sort of come, whenever we worry or whenever we have anxiety, all the energy is up in the head. So the things that we can do is bring the energy back into the body, move any kind of walking, dancing, something in my eyes, any kind of getting physical. So we will do like a yoga practice, but in the evening we will do like a gentle one. And the other thing is distract yourself. So whatever you worry about, try to take your focus away from it. And this is where I can say like, I try to get like a nice book or even watch Netflix or whatever takes your mind off the thing that you worry, what you, whatever you're anxious about, so you break the cycle. And then at the end, I will talk about something else like the meditation when we make questions to ourselves, okay? So let's get started with our practice. Relax your shoulder, find a comfortable seated position and close your eyes. It's really nice to close my eyes now, something in there. And just take your position on the mat. Make any little adjustments to get comfortable here. Allow the top of the head to reach up. Allow the sit bones to relax down. Relax the shoulders, soften the face, soften the eyes and just arrive to your practice today. Whenever we have too much energy in the head, whenever we use our amazing mind to worry, to create images which are upsetting us, then the breath gets shallow. So we pretty much only take the breath in the upper lungs, just in the higher part in the chest. So we're going to focus on taking the breath a little bit deeper, filling the lungs up fully and really concentrating, getting on that cycle of full breathing. Bring the hands to the heart, left hand to the heart center, right palm over it. Feel the gentle pressures of the hands, mindful of the microphone. Feel the gentle pressures of the hands and make your intention for tonight's class. Relaxing, bringing the energy back to the heart, to the navel, to the physical body. Allowing yourself to come back to this softness, this calmness. And relax the hands, open up the eyes. Let's take an inhalation, bringing the arms up, extending the arms. And on the exhalation, releasing down. Two more times, inhale, lift and lengthen, reach up. Try to get a little bit more space in the spine. And just a big, big stretch before our breathing practice. And the last one. Come and relax the left hand into Gyan Mudra, so your left hand index finger together with the thumb and with the right thumb and ring finger we're going to control the closing of the nostrils alternate nostril breathing like we always practice always uh, switching before the exhalation closing the right nostril uh, close your eyes bring your focus in between the eyebrows inhale take a big inhalation through the left nostril just nice and smooth, whatever feels comfortable. And whenever you're ready to exhale, close the left nostril and exhale through the right nostril. Whenever you're ready with the exhalation, inhale through the right nostril. And then close the right nostril, switch over, exhale on the left. Inhaling on the left nostril. Closing the left nostril, opening up the right, exhaling right. Inhale on 
the right close the right nostril exhale on the left Inhale left, close, exhale right, inhale right. Close, exhale left. One more round, inhale on the left nostril. Close the left, exhale on the right. Inhale on the right. Close the right nostril, exhale on the left nostril. Relax the hands, release the mudra, just take another breath here, letting the breath just equalize. I highly recommend whenever you feel like your mind is going to a place where you don't really want to be, just to sit and do five to ten rounds of alternate nostril breathing opening up the eyes moving into our side bends inhaling reaching the arms up extending exhaling right hand comes down and release into the side bend to the right inhaling reaching and extending up exhaling side bend to the left inhaling reaching and extending up Exhaling, bring the right hand down, may become a little bit lower. Relax the head, relax the ears to the shoulder and stay in the pose for three deep breaths. Extend up with the fingers, root down with the left hip. Relax the head, maybe you can even look down. Breathe, really connect with the breath. One more breath. And then inhale, reach and extend all the way up. Let's go to the left, bring the left hand down. Come as far down as you feel comfortable. Release the right fingertips towards the sky. Relax the shoulder, soften the ears to the shoulder, ear to the shoulder, and just relax into the pose. Feel the space. These seated stretches are really helpful to creating space in the respiratory system to make our breath deeper. Because when we feel anxious, when we worry, we tend to take like really superficial breath. So the focus is all about deepening our breath and noticing where the body, where the breath is flowing in the body. Inhale, lift and lengthen, reach up, coming into our twist. Exhale, right hand behind, left hand comes anywhere on that right leg. Releasing into the twist to the right, rolling the shoulders back, lengthen. Notice how this feels, especially at the end of the day. Gentle, soft movements. In Ayurveda, we say that after dark, it's not recommended to do very intensive physical exercise because it, the body is getting really ready to unwind. And nature works per perfectly, coming back to the center, reaching up and extending, exhaling, relaxing. What a season, autumn, winter, when it's dark, then it's when the nights are uh, longer, it gets dark earlier, what a season when we generally recommend it to 
move slower, longer holds, connecting more to the legs, hips. Inhaling and exhaling, releasing into that twist to the left. Not taking too much effort here, just enough to feel comfortable in the twist and breathing through it. And then inhale, come back to the center, lengthen up, reach up with the arms, exhale, relax. With the right leg forward, bring the right hand across to the left knee, reach up with the left arm and just bring the left hand, right, left hand whenever on, on the right leg, wherever you feel comfortable, all the way to the knees if you wish to and just relax the head down. Just soften here, three deep breath. Feel the space in between the shoulder blades opening the back body. And inhale, open up the arms, come into the cactus arms, switch the legs over if you can, or you can put the leg, hands, down, hands down with the left leg coming forward. And this time bring the left hand across to the right knee, reach up with the right hand, and bring it across over the opposite knee, lifting and lengthening and just releasing the head. Walking the hands as far as you can, bringing the chin in towards the chest, and breathing deeply. Very slow movements, really focusing on the breath connecting that breath to the physical body. When you're really conscious of your breath and you notice how it moves in the physical body, you cannot be in your head. So inhaling, opening up, relaxing the hands and then making our way into the all fours for the cat cow. You can have a blanket underneath the knees or if your knees are not sensitive, you can just be on the mat or maybe even practicing on a carpet, hands directly, wrists directly underneath the shoulders, rolling the shoulders away from the ears, knees directly underneath the hips, lengthen the spine here. And on the inhalation, starting from the tailbone, vertebra by vertebra, massaging through the spine, opening up into the U shape, looking ahead, just a soft gaze, just whatever feels right for tonight into this U shape in the spine. And then starting on the exhalation, tucking the tailbone under, creating the three stretch in the spine, cat stretch, letting the head relax last, pushing into the hand, navel to the spine. Inhale, continue again, coming into your cow pose, the U shape in the spine. Just move nice and slow, breathing through the spine. It's almost like you're visualizing, giving every single vertebra a little bit of a caress, a little bit of attention, a little bit of love. And just by sending a little bit of breath and energy there, you're already creating a little bit more flow. One more cat cat opening up into the U shape, rolling the shoulders away, lengthening. And on the exhalation, tucking the tailbone under, pushing in the middle back towards the ceiling, neighbor to the spine, pushing the ground away, letting the head relax. And then coming back into the center, neutral spine, tucking the toes under and we're going to move into a downward facing dog. If downward facing dog is too much for you, you can stay with the cat cat or you can just bring the hands forward and release into the puppy pose. Okay. Otherwise, if you're okay, stabilize the hands, middle fingers parallel to the long edge of the mat. Inhale, tuck the tailbone under, exhale, release the sit bones towards the sky, top of the head reaching down. And then if you want to, you can paddle, 
pushing opposite heels down, bending the knees nice and deep, just see how you feel. You can get fluid in the movement. Whenever you feel ready, just release here, lengthen the spine, five deep breaths in here, just a little bit of heat, head is shaking if you want to, you can say a yes and a no. Roll the shoulders away from the ears. There is beautiful space in the neck. Gaze can softly turn towards the navel. Remember, you can have the knees bent or straight. Wiggle a little bit more room in the spine. Two more deep breaths. One more. Look between the hands, bring the knees down, stretch the toes away, release into a child's pose. Hands can extend forward, forehead comes down towards the mat, or you can bring a little tower with the hands, putting one knuckle on top of the other and putting the hand on it if that feels more comfortable working with the sit bones towards the heel relaxing in here hugging the chest to the thighs this forward force child's position it's really balancing calming for the mind and then slowly walk the hands back, tuck the toes under, push back into your downward facing dog and take a walk, arrive into your forward fold, bend the knees and slowly vertebra by vertebra, come up, build the spine up, shoulders and the head arriving last, nice and slow. We're going to have one balance pose. Before we go back down, just our three pose. Whenever you feel like out of sorts, the best thing to do, the best way to balance it is do whatever you find challenging. So for example, a balance pose when you feel out of balance. Transfer the weight over to the left leg. Bring the right leg up. Hands can come to the waistline or into the palms together into the uh, prayer mudra. Knees come in line with the hips and then just externally rotate the legs and see that the hips are nice and even and you can release the toes all the way down to the floor, just the heels touching towards the ankle. You can bring it a little bit higher or you can help with the hands and bringing it all the way up on the inner thigh and bring the hands together in front of the heart. Try to gaze at a fixed point which is not moving around eye level. Press the palms together actively and breathe. Top of the head reaching up, tailbone reaches down. Smile into your tree. If you fall out, just take a smile and come back. Don't worry if your tree is wobbly. A wobbly tree is a strong tree. Breathe deeply. Exhale, three, inhale, exhale, four, inhale, exhale, five, rotate the leg back and then release it down. If you want to bring the hands down, shake it out a little bit before we go to the other side. Transferring the weight to the right leg, bringing the left leg up about hip height, opening the legs up and then positioning the leg. And you can even actually come to a wall for stability. So wherever you can feel stable, that's what we're looking for. Either tiptoes, ankles to the heels or bringing the leg all the way up 
whatever feels right for you today. And one leg may be different to the other. Press the palms together, look at a fixed point around the eye level and breathe. leg back to the center and release it down take a little bit of a shake and then let's come back down into the seated position if you want you can put a blanket or block underneath the sit bones coming into the legs stretched out in front of us bring the right leg in hug your right leg in and then drop it out to the side hopefully the microphone is okay Left leg is active, heel is pushing away, toe is coming towards you. Lift and lengthen in the spine, bring the hands on either side of that left leg. And on the exhalation, walk forward with the feet nice and active, roll the shoulders back, lengthen, breathing deeply. Inhaling and exhaling. Feeling the gentle stretch in that left leg, soft release in the right hip, and just folding in the spine, relaxing here. Breathing deeply, really allowing yourself to concentrate on your breath. Remember, this is what's going to bring you back into the physical body and away from the mayhem in the head. <laughs> And then slowly walk the hands back. We're going to move into a twist, bringing that right leg in, bringing it across the left leg and hugging that right leg with the left hand. Right hand goes behind, lifting and lengthening and making our way into the twist to the right. Rolling the shoulders back, lengthening. Just a few deep breaths in here. Allowing yourself to soften here. Squeezing out all that tension. And then slowly coming back to the center releasing that right leg and going to the other side bringing the left leg in hugging the left leg in and dropping it out to the side so you can have the leg anywhere on that the inner thigh of the opposite leg reach and lengthen in the spine hands come on either side and start to fold forward walk forward you really have complete control over how deep you come into the pose you don't have to go really deep remember it's all about how you feel in the pose rather than how you look in the pose sensations we're looking for is a lovely stretch in the right hamstring the back of the right leg soft release in the left hip so if this doesn't feel nice then don't go so much forward so keep that stretch in that right leg lovely. If it's too much for the hips, you can move the leg or you can put a prop underneath that left knee. Keep lifting and lengthening in the spine so you're not collapsing, but you have this beautiful space here. It's almost like at the beginning of the class, you set that intention that the top of the head is reaching away from the sit bones and you creating space between every single vertebra 
allowing the breath, the energy to flow freely. And then slowly with the help of the hands walk back. We're moving into our twist, bringing that left leg in, bringing it across the right leg, hugging ourselves with that right hand, left hand comes behind. Remember to lift the legs and then, then move into the twist to the left. Just three deep breaths, roll the shoulders away from the ears. Feel this openness in the chest. Just enjoy your twist. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, and then slowly release back into the center. Bring the left leg back and then open the legs as wide as you feel comfortable. Free the sit bones. Make sure that you're not leaning forward so you have the stability in the spine. The block really helps here. Hands come into the front, lift and lengthen in the spine, and just very slowly start to walk forward. So maybe this much is enough. Maybe you're okay to go a little bit deeper. So remember to go with sensations. Inner thighs having a lovely stretch. Spine is relaxed and lengthened. Doesn't matter where you go. Just go until you feel comfortable and just relax into the pose. We're staying here only for three deep breaths. So just maybe challenge yourself, go a little deeper, but remember never to go into an area where it's painful, just somewhere where you feel comfortable. After the three breaths, lift and lengthen. Bring the hands onto the outside of the feet. Bring the legs together. Come into a seated position. Let me see if. Oh, you can't hear me. Uh oh, maybe it was switched off. Oh. Hopefully, you. Okay. <laughs> Hopefully it was working, we shall see. Coming into our seated position for the gentle meditation before a few minutes of Shavasana. Relax the shoulders and lengthen and allow yourself to close your eyes, lengthen the spine and just allow yourself to come into a thought that you normally find that gives you anxious, gives you, gives you anxiety. So just feel that thought for a second. Just try to choose something not so challenging, just something that may be like being late or something that you feel that may cause anxiety. And just notice how you feel in the body when you think about that thought. notice any sensations, any tightness, do you notice the breath? And be aware of what happens in the body when you think about the thought that is worrying for you, that causes stress in the body. And then we're going to try to switch that train of thought with asking questions like, whenever we worry, we keep the mind really, really busy imagining the worst case scenario. So we're going to try to switch that worst case scenario thinking by asking the question, what else is possible? And asking the question, what if this can work out or whatever you're worrying. So for example, in the case of like worrying about getting somewhere, what else is possible? What if the traffic is really clear? What if all the lights get green? What if I just get there right in the perfect time? 
What if I actually enjoy the journey listening to some nice music or a podcast? So start asking this question, what else is possible? And try to connect with the best case scenario. We were so busy with the worst case scenario, so now visualize the best case scenario. Wouldn't it be nice? What else is possible? What if? And as you ask these questions and you connect with the what else is possible, notice how your body feels now. What if everything works out even better than you expected? Wouldn't it be nice if the best case scenario plays out? Notice the sensations in the physical body now and the breath. And then release the thoughts, bring the hands to the heart, palms together, thumbs pressing into the heart center. Bow your head to your heart, a big thank you for stepping on the mat and actually taking steps about going back to your balance, bouncing back to your balance. Wrap the palms together, create heat between the palms. And then let the head relax into the eyes. And then open up the eyes with a gentle massage of the face. Arrive back. Thank you. If you wish to, you're more than welcome to go into a deep relaxation now. Let me just see the comments. I don't. <laughs> I hope 